in previous lecture we have seen how to create the uh, web app and in this uh, lecture i'm gonna explain you how you can deploy an app basically uh, deploy in the sense that uh, how you can uh, get the files from the repository and then push those files uh, to your app so uh, for that uh, you can use the deployment center on the left hand side you can see the deployment center and uh, once you click on that you can see here you can select uh, your repository azure repo or uh, it can be github bitbucket local git as well or ftp as well so i'm gonna create it using azure repository so before this uh, formerly it was known as vsts azure devops services now it is called as azure pipelines or azure devops services so to do that uh, if you are doing it for the first time you don't have any uh, devops organization you will have to create uh, one devops organization that you have to uh, go to Azure DevOps select the country or the city and then taking you to your Azure DevOps organization here you can create a new organization Project name say P1 and create a project. And the project is ready. So let us come back here and then uh, let us see if it picks up that. Let's create a repository. You can see this uh, P1 repository is already created there. I just want to use the same uh, repository. I'm just going to refresh so that I can uh, pick up that repository here. So you can see now uh, I can access Azure DevOps organization because we have created this organization just now in the project P1 and uh, only projects with failed git repositories will be listed. Then you have to select the repository, the branch, build and then click on continue. So let me put uh, one file here in this repo. initialize this repository and let us put one file there index.php create that 
and let us put some PHP code in here. Echo hello world. That's it. So that is our web app. Very simple web app actually. That's the master branch. And yes, the first commit is ready, the first file is ready in the repository. And uh, let's go back again. We have to create this once again because uh, that uh, repository was not ready, that's why it is not showing that uh, master branch and everything. Continue, continue. This one, this one. Branch master. Now you can see the master branch is available for us to choose. Startup command. There is no startup command for that. Just click on continue and then that's, that's it. Let us finish it. So the deployment is being set up, and uh, what will happen is as soon as uh, the changes are pushed to that repository automatically that app will be uh, rebuilt and then you can access it You can see that a successful setup continues delivery and trigger the build. You can see this pipeline is already uh, set up for us. And in the release also uh, it is set up. So you can see it is automatically happening, you don't have to do anything. If you click on this edit button, there is just one task to deploy these changes, deploy Azure App Service. And here, we are giving uh, to which app this uh, code base has to be pushed. 
that's it so once this uh, it is pushed what you need to do is you need to revisit the app and then uh, this time around the home page will be different so you can see the hello world is being displayed here so that is basically uh, these are the steps that you have to take same way you can build the app build and deploy the app for different technologies like node java dotnet dotnet core ruby etc now you have to take the same similar steps thanks for watching this video